Hello friends, this is Nurmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some simple tips and tricks you can try out on the Geony A1. So Geony A1 comes with Android 7.0 and on top of that you have this Amigo UI that's a 4.0 version. So in this video we will share some simple tricks uh, to master the Geony's Amigo UI. So first step uh, let's go to the Cube toggle. So if you just swipe from the bottom we can see the Cube toggles available here and uh, uh, besides the uh, the brightness slider we have this option called edit. So if you just press uh, the edit option you can uh, customize the Cube toggles available on this device. So you can just drag and rearrange the cube toggles and uh, whichever you want you can just make it to the final list and once you've done that you can just come back and uh, that options will be saved so that's how you customize the, um, the cube toggles in the Geony A1. Now let's go to the child mode. So you can see there is a child mode available uh, in this device. So this is self-explanatory mode. What it does is it allows uh, your child to use the phone and uh, only those apps will be available in the child mode. So you can just select apps uh, which all you want to be available when your kid is using the phone. You can just select that and uh, in the next step uh, you can just uh, uh, we, once you just selected it uh, say for example just uh, select two apps and in the next step uh, you can set the limitation uh, uh, for the kids mode then uh, you can uh, just see now the kids mode is active and uh, once uh, uh, the kids mode is active only those apps uh, which are permitted will be available in this uh, mode next step let's go to the settings so you can see this is the normal settings panel and if you go to the display settings panel you can actually change the lcd effect that's the display uh, color temperature it can be neutral uh, warmer colors or colder colors so that can be selected from here that's a really useful option uh, in case you want the color temperature to be changed next step let's go to the more settings so here we have some additional options here one of them is a smart gestures so if you select smart gestures you can see there is an option to turn on double click to wake so once you turn on you can just double tap on the display to wake up the display and there are some additional options like smart dial smart answer is also included smart uh, bright screen that means if you're watching uh, or uh, if you're using the front camera then view, view, if you're looking at the screen it won't turn on to the sleep mode so some additional options are included and one of the useful options is uh, the double click to wake so you can just turn on from the smart gestures now it just is again another useful feature what it does is uh, uh, slide your finger onto the left or right of the home button uh, to get additional settings so if you're in uh, this uh, screen you can just uh, slide here and it brings the settings panel and you can just slide here also uh, to bring uh, the settings and uh, useful features like search so that's another option uh, that uh, this this will supported only on very limited apps so you can see edge bar is supported on uh, settings search and notes so that's only uh, apps uh, which support uh, this gestures then uh, you also have this suspend button so when you select this you can just see that uh, there is an uh, floating icon available and you can just uh, go to the home screen lock uh, uh, go back so these are some options in the uh, smart uh, suspend button and this is very similar to the floating uh, dock available in other phones as well then you can also turn on uh, uh, the glow uh, patterns that means you can uh, if you're using glows uh, you can turn on this mode then uh, if you just press and hold the back button you can just uh, uh, bring uh, uh, the multi window or the split screen so now we have opened the youtube app and just press and hold uh, uh, the multitasking button and you can see youtube app goes to the multi window and uh, you can uh, just turn uh, uh, you can select another app uh, uh, in the split screen view so two apps are running in the same time and uh, this is split screen view and you can also uh, resize the split screen view based on which app you want the most so that's a pretty simple option uh, the split screen view in uh, the Geony A1 and that uh, looks quite good. So that's uh, another useful option. Then there is an app called system manager so just open this and you can uh, see uh, some regular set of options here uh, cache uh, cleaner virus detection app manager power manager traffic monitor and echo mode so if you turn on the echo mode you can uh, see that if you want the apps uh, won't consume data usage and push uh, uh, spams in the background uh, when once the uh, uh, i mean the green uh, a background is open so that's a useful option then another option is in the power manager so if you go to the power manager so this is a normal 
normal mode and in the power saving mode and extreme mode you get better battery life and in the power saving mode if you turn on this mode what it does is uh, it will go back to uh, the dark screen mode so if you see now uh, it will be now in the dark uh, or the dark UI so that's a useful option so uh, you can now go to uh, the settings panel and uh, see the settings panel is also in uh, the dark uh, UI so that uh, saves additional battery and a very useful mode so that's a dark theme on uh, the Juni A1 so these are some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the Juni A1 with Amigo UI hope this video was useful and uh, some simple tips and tricks to uh, make the better out of your device so that's all guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.